What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be on the Fat Moto, the 2019 Fat Moto that me and my brother put together. We've got aftermarket front suspension on it. Uh, pretty much everything else. Oh yeah, yeah, some uh, beefier rear brakes. Everything else is pretty much stock. I have not touched the engine or anything else. And I've, I've been riding it around. I am enjoying it immensely I love this bike so today's video I'm gonna be installing or trying to install a torque converter I probably don't have the right belt for it but we'll make something work but I have uh, the torque converter go power sports sent me that I got the front driver and then the rear uh, piece and I'm gonna see if I can get it on on there and I'm hoping Fingers crossed that I have a belt. I have a bunch of uh, go-kart belts, but something tells me it's going to be a different size. So, uh, fortunately, Go Power Sports has a way that they can measure the pulleys and the distance they're apart, and they can come up with a belt for you. So, let's get to uh, pulling this thing down. Oh, first things first. Let's go for a road test. I think that the thing only has a top speed of 15 to 18 miles per hour but let's just let's let's check it out try to give it full throttle and we'll just kind of judge the acceleration. really sweet bike I'm just gonna try to improve a little bit on acceleration and hopefully top speed and I'm gonna do that with the torque converter so let's get to installing all right that looks like two 10 millimeter bolts
All right, so this torque converter is from gopowersports.com. I just wanted to see if it would fit this engine. Oh. It has an adapter to adapt it down to the smaller shaft. Good, it comes with a key. There we go. Then we have this. So I went to our local tractor store and got some high speed bearings that have a 5 8 inside diameter. I don't know what the outside diameter is, but it seems like it wants to fit in this frame. So I'm going to put these in and then I'm going to, I'm going to put her together. So I'm up in the size of the shaft. The This piece is metric. It's not 5 8 uh, And I had to do this because I needed the sprocket and, and all that stuff. So I had to go to a larger size, which is it's good. It's good. It makes it stronger. machine I don't have the right bit to uh, put a groove in this bolt using it for the uh, jack shaft so I'm gonna just use my grinder and I'm gonna grind in a keyway so that's cool so let's get grinding this sprocket is for uh, 40 chain and I need a uh, Need it to fit the 420, I have to narrow the sprocket down, so I got to grind on it some too. That's a All right. So, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here. Like that. I need to put this here. I need, need to get this piece back in here and I need to trim it so I got to do a little bit of grinding almost got it guys bam 
All right, all this ought to be lined up. Oh, that looks pretty good. what kind of trouble I'm going to be in with the uh, you know the chain's going to be shorter than what it should be hopefully I'll be able to adjust that's a lot of adjustment I'm hoping that I'll be able to adjust the uh, chain tension to for this new sprocket that I put on there See how much I got now with uh, that loosened all the way. Oh, gosh. I need about three links, guys. Maybe I'll have some over here. Let's go through the Go Power Sports stuff. By the way, this video is brought to you by Go Power Sports because this torque converter is from Go Power Sports. Right. Oh yes. Fantastic. Oh, this looks good. All right, guys. Uh, let's see if this belt fits on. So I believe this belt, I had it laying around, but I'll uh, call up Go Power Sports and get them to send me a the correct size belt. What they do is they, they want to know the width of this pulley, the width of that pulley, and how far apart they are. Oh yeah, I gotta do one more thing. I have to uh, drill a hole in that nut right there and put a cotter pin through it so it doesn't come off I wish I had I wish I had a uh, locked nut because then I wouldn't have a problem but I don't have one so I'm just gonna make do with what I got so I'll see you guys in a second for the road test <laughs>
right guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. There's still some improvements that I have to do on this bike. Changing the gear ratio. Hopefully that won't be a big deal. This thing is fast. I'll catch y'all later.